Hello the boys, how are we doing? As you see, we're on the uh, 6190 hour again. And how about that for a straight fire? That's not bad, is it? Not bad. The reason we've got such a straight fire, well, I do like to keep a straight fire anyway, as you uh, hopefully see yesterday on uh, when I had the KV on. Brought us out uh, on land now to try out the GPS. Emily wants to see what it's like playing with the uh, GPS. So we've got an on land now from them. Um, it's a Gregor or Besson, but oddly it doesn't tell you what it is. There's no model number on it or anything. So uh, um, yeah, six far. It was a seven. They took the back fire off for us so we can try on the 6190. And to be honest, the 6190 had to adjust the top link and top link also it got the maximum lift on it because um, it's heavy plow. As you can see, we've got a, pretty much like a double beam, double beam in it. Um, and the 6190 wouldn't pick it up. So she does just about pick it up now. So um, and it's doing a, doing a fair job really. Yeah, you can't get much straighter than that. I personally like ploughing, um, well, I've never ploughed the GPS, or never done a lot for GPS, as you, uh, as you well know. Um, I've certainly never ploughed with GPS. I do like to take pride in work and, and keep it straight myself, but, uh, um, well, it makes the job easy. I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumb, so let's, uh, Let's do a bit of ploughing. Right, so we're all about set up. Look down, just had to get out and uh, move a bit of rubbish. Steer is on, so press that button there. That goes bleep, that goes green. Means we're, um, we're on auto steer. We're away. So nudge it up. And we're doing about doing about 8k with it. It's pulling a bit harder than the um, than the converting is, although we are in a little bit deeper. So, but I'm quite amazed how well it matches up. I know that'd only be a case of just getting your settings right and your implement width width right, but yeah, you really can't see. There's no hills and troughs in the, where where the ploughing is joining up. Yeah, I'm just sat here doing now. It'd be ideal for flying the drone, wouldn't it? Hopefully it won't be too long now before I get my camera. Hopefully what's uh, yeah, it's Friday today, hopefully next week it'll turn up a bit of luck if uh unique are true to their word. And you start doing a bit of dronage again. Yeah, so I'm starting to get to, you know, used to the GPS and that. I had the Scott from Tuckwells, he was here uh, setting the plough up with me and uh, Chris was there as well and um, yeah, Scott was going through all the systems on, on, the, uh, on the GPS. So I pretty much know how to do most things now. Just need to keep doing it now. And the worst thing is when you don't do it for a while you soon forget, well I do anyway. So yeah, it should give me a little beep tell me I'm getting towards the end. So I'll slow her down, drop a couple of cogs. And I'll lift her up. Spin to plough over. Then this is an intelligent plough, it sucks itself in for it to before it um, turns over. It'll turn over and it'll push itself out again like so. Alright, we'll get ourselves lined up. 
Right, so press auto steer and drop me ploughing. Right, so get the plough charts, get in the ground, and we're over and up. I really do miss the fact that you haven't got a joystick on here. Can't believe I know John Deere bought one out literally in the past couple of months, I think, didn't they? Or it might have been at Lammer, I can't remember. But why on earth have they not um, had a joystick up to then? I mean, it's not too bad. You got everything you need there, but it's a bit like, well, I want that button for the auto steer. Then I want that one. Here's my gear stick. There's my revs. And um, but it'd be so much easier just to have it all on on the button on the joystick. And there's my shuttle. There's another thing you need when uh, you're at the end. So it'd be quite interesting to see what the new John Deere joystick's like. I'm sure it's pretty good. I've heard it's I've heard it's very good. Yeah, I haven't got this one painting at the minute, but to be honest, I don't need it. I can see where me uh, <laughs> where I last was, so. Oh yeah, so oh, yeah. All I need now is to get me um get me tablet now. I bought a, um me, the missus and Richard bought Samsung Galaxy Tab A's a few weeks ago. Um Richard wanted it, Richard my brother Roy wanted it so that um for fertilising because it's got an app on it and that can sort your fertiliser out or something anyway. So he wanted one for that and I thought they're only two hundred quid for a 10 inch tablet Samsung and I thought bloody hell that's good value that is so um, oh, I got one the missus got one and um, me and Richard got some um, I got some uh, good heavy duty mounts for them so I shall have to get that in here so that um, you can keep me entertained Yeah, I might do a little review on it at some point. Alright, so use the slewing brakes. Bring it around. Press auto steer. Click me linkage down. In she goes. Give it some revs. I was finding this morning as well, um, that when I was, I've stopped doing it now, I've adjusted my arm, but I was, kept um, moving the depth adjustment there, when I was doing the spools, I was laying my arm across it, and I kept knocking the depth adjustment, which I, again, I don't think that's brilliant design that is, is it? You know, it's very easy to knock, because you, you know, you're supposed to have your hand laid across it like that. Uh, I don't know, perhaps it's me, who knows, who knows. Uh, yeah, anyway, we seem to be uh, getting on quite well. Got a little ways to go yet, as you can see. But we've done a bit. We've done a bit, we have. So I'm quite impressed how well the plough is matching up. Although, you know, I suppose it would, wouldn't it, like, you know. So there we go. I'll call that it. And I'll see you on the next vid. Ta-ta!